Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the fuel line on your engine, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. You should perform this procedure with no fuel in the tank. Now loosen the rope guide wing nut and remove the starter rope. Use a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the bolts securing the blower housing cover. Lift off the cover. Lift the fuel tank off of the housing. Now use pliers to release the spring clamps securing the old fuel line to the tank and remove the tank. Release the clamp to remove the fuel line from the carburetor. Prepare the new fuel line for installation by trimming it to the proper length. Slide the provided clamps onto the new line. Connect one end of the line to the carburetor and secure it with the clamp. Attach the opposite end to the fuel tank and secure with the clamp. Realign the fuel tank tabs with the slots in the blower housing and snap the tank into place. Replace the blower housing cover, then thread and tighten the bolts to secure. Depress the bail arm, extend the starter rope, and hook the rope on the guide. Tighten the rope guide wing nut. With the repair completed, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug, refill the fuel tank, and your engine should be ready for use.